Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate. If you're new here, I hope you stop a like and if you're returning, it's lovely to see you again. Today we're going to be doing my Bug Fit Fun unboxing for spring. Um, it came today, I haven't opened it yet. of the box is inside the box. So we get a little card saying pass this along to a friend who wants to join FabFitFun and they'll get $15 off the first FabFitFun box. If anyone's interested, the I will put the code in the description box down below. Um, I am an annual member so I get to choose the items, <coughs> oh, two different ones so there's two different clothes on the back of them. We get the little booklet as well and by the all inclusive quality if you're lucky enough to enter and win. The little booklet used to give you a breakdown of your items, I can't remember if it still does. I think it's just updates now. Yeah, it gives you a few details of items that might be in your box and how to use them and wear them and everything else like that. Um, and we get these little thing of stickers. Um, I still have storage ones sitting here. Yeah, I'm sure I can find somewhere to stick them. I did buy a couple of things in the add-on um, section, which was these hair towels, hair wraps. <coughs> now, I know I don't have a lot of hair, but we are going on holiday in the end of March. So I thought that would be great for the girls when they come out of the shower or come out of the sea of it, they can wrap their hair in it rather than it drying in the sun and getting all the pot. can't remember how much they were, they weren't very much, I think it was $3 each, which is fell on the floor. Um, I'm going to check for the mystery bundle because I did add a mystery bundle as well. Right. Is that my mystery bundle? Yeah, that could show me in my show. That'll be one of the last things I open. Hello Fresh for America, news to me, why they put it in a UK box, I have no idea. Um, there was something else that I ordered. Hmm. We'll go start to start with, I'll see if it is in here what the first items are. I think I can remember what it was. Um, the first item I chose out of the box was the Fenty Beauty Glow Gloss Bomb Heat Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper in Lemon Lava, which is their new one, and Hot Cherry. So 01 and 05. So I think the 05 Hot no, Lemon Lava is their new one. I do love the glosses, the Fenty glosses. I have most of them, um, but I haven't tried the heat ones. So seeing as they were in this, I'm not really a big red person, but if I don't use it, my daughter will, because she has a really fair complexion fairer than mine and she 
braid just looks so good in here. And this is the lemon one. Just seeing if I can feel that. Right now, I'm not sure you can see anything there. You can just see a little lemon sparkles in there. Or goldy sparkles, but yeah, that's the... It's not really showing up. So that's the lemon guava. And I will open this one, but I'll use a little brush. are all off green so I'm not putting the product near my oh I'm starting to feel that the other one heating up the skin pickling so this is the it's actually not that bad I'm actually, I actually might brew that <clears throat> so this is the what are they calling them heat Basically a lip plumper. These are full size, nine mils each. Um, I think they retail for about twenty pound each. So, or is it eighteen? We'll say eighteen. So that's thirty six pound just in that item. Um, my box is forty nine pound. Then we pay ten pound for ten ten pound ten dollars forty nine dollars nineteen dollars postage to the UK. Um, any of the additional bits that I buy I do obviously pay tax on it that comes to us then. Um, the next item, I'm trying to think what was next. There's a lot of Fenty products that was in it for being sent out. I'm just going to go with the things that's in the box. I don't actually know what order they come, came in. I don't think I can see it there either. Anyway, the next one I bought here is the Codly Vino Pure. It is the... That is French. Moisturising Mattifying Fluid. Because I am a combo skin. Look at that. The box is twice the size of the product. I think they would put a decent sized package in. So this is, I do like Codly, it's a, a matte sort of feeling, smooth feeling um, container. And this is just a moisturiser basically, I think that is the gist of it. Great for acne prone skin, for face and neck. 93% 90, 93 or 98 oh god so I'm still going to read that 93% saw the appearance of blemishes reduced so that's great I do like I've tried some of the Podly products and I do enjoy them their serums and things so I will look forward to giving that a try the next thing I have is the Earth Harbour Go Juice Refining Enzyme Mask and it says here The aloe, say aloe to glowing skin, antioxidant rich aloe vera, known for its soothing properties, is paired with red seaweed, fruit enzymes and white willow bark in this powerful AHA BHA gel mask from Earth Harbour. The results greatly clarify and radiance, plus it will calm, soothe and rebalance your skin with no irritation. So, I'm not sure if you can see that in there. How Jelly like it is. Don't want to try to that lens open. It's a uh, very like a very jelly consistency. Um, again, I have combination skin, so this should be good for me. Um, I've only tried an Earth 
Harbour. See you on the phone. I'm going to fill up the phone box and I did enjoy it. So looking forward to giving that one a try. The next thing, I didn't know what to pick in the next section. So I just clicked the bit that they could pick at random. Now I wish I chose something myself now because what they have sent me is a province of pottery dual action jade facial roller. Now I already have a roller for my face in the fridge. I don't know if this is going to be any better. Oh, in fact, it might be actually. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got like little indents in the actual teeth of it. On that one. But this one is smooth. I do find that it really helps um, I know it's got sound hot drainage of fluid when I use it on my skin from the fridge. So I might give this one a try and keep my other one as well because the other one is fits smaller, it fits in around my eye better. It's not as wide as that at the top. A small side and a big side. Um, so yeah, okay, I might might keep that one. I will leave the prices of all these items down below because I don't know the prices because they don't have any of their prices in the booklets anymore. Um, the next item I got was a Kate Somerville product. I've only tried um, one of her products before. I think it was a mask. But this is the exfoliate and this is intensive exfoliating treatment and I do like uh, an exfoliating treatment and I have been wanting to try the um, exfoliate for a while. Um, I know it is quite expensive so with this being one of the choices I definitely wanted to pick it up. And this is what it's like so it's 2 fluid ounces so it's 60ml. So nice sleek packaging on there. It is sealed so that's fantastic. This says it's great for all skin types. Um, it doesn't have anything about that on that page, even though it says fridge to face beauties. They did also, um, this is the next thing I bought. I was debating about buying this or not, but I thought, why not? Let's go for it. So it is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Light Blush in Incandescent Electra. I do have um, a face palette from Hourglass which does your bronzer, blush, highlighter and setting powder in it. So that is this one here. In fact, I might turn that light around a wee bit. There we go. Nice peachy colours. I love the marble effect that it's got in there. I might swatch that there. So that's it there. You can't really see it very well. It's it's quite light considering I went up, I suppose if I mixed it both in. Like a peachy that's there, a peachy colour. Not too bad, I like that one. And I think these are about £27, £25. I think I looked up the price of it before, but it's gone out of my head. Um, yes, what it says, use a blush brush and place the hourglass ambient strobe light and blush and incandescent electra on the apples of your cheeks for a glowy look. And um, last but not least, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's my six items. So this must be the extra that I bought. Which is the Winky Lux Lip Oil and a Cute Glow Cream by London Town. I'm trying to take better care of my nails. I got a gel white because my old one broke to try it and do my own nails at home, but this side is completely all broken off. So, yeah, 
so I got a little cute little pen, just thought it would be handier than taking liquid with me when travelling, so that's the little cute little pen. I want to say it only cost me a fiver for the two things. Um, yeah, and the lip oil is just a clear lip oil. I think I got the two together, that's why I bought them like that. Yeah. Okay, and then I have the mystery bundle, and the mystery bundle number is 2201MYS013. So, this is the mystery bundle for the add-ons, and I think there's supposed to be three items in it. Never heard of this brand before. Peekaboo AHA BHA Skin Perfecting Toner. I do love a good toner. It's got Moringa Extract, Witch Hazel Extract, and Micellar Solution 200 mils. So that's the big bottle there. I will not use this point glass scissors as sharp as anything. That's a lovely bottle. Can't see through it, but it's very, very nice though. Thanks. It's got a good best before date on it. March 2024. So, two years to use that up. So, perfect. The other thing I got is a scrunchie. Now, as I said, don't have a lot here, but I have one daughter that is obsessed with scrunchies. She has them in every colour. So, perfect. I could take them on holiday, so I can give them to her when we go on holiday. So, and the last thing is by this brand, London Town, again. And this is a nail care kit. I would say there is a last nail file, which is good because I broke my other nail file the other day. I broke the handle off it, don't I manage it? I did. Ah, so the outside edge is the emery board part of it. And the inside edge is for shining up your nails. Nifty. I don't know if it comes apart or anything. Because it's got like... Plastic around it. Oh yeah. It clips together and on clips. I don't know why you need it to clip and unclip, but I suppose for more ease of, ease of use, so then why would it be curled? I don't know, anyway. There is the smooth side for you polishing up your nail, and there is the side for the memory board for you pull it, uh, filing your nail, and it just clips back together like that. And it is the London Town brand too. So all in all, not a bad box. Don't mind the a bundle that I got. Can't use these because my hair is not exactly long. I can definitely use this, which is the what did I say the name was? Peekaboo toner. So yep, fantastic product there. I'll quite happily try that one. Here bubbles, pass on to my daughter. The nail file and the memory board and polishing. Quite happy with that. Then the Provence Apocatory Dual Action Jade Facial Roller. Just make sure there's nothing else in there. So that, happy with that one. Well, wasn't, but now I'm happier with it. Um, I did see, I did have a quick look to see what was coming in my box because this was a thingy item and I did think, oh, 
but the price of this is actually on their website is the price of my box so it's $50 for this not that I would pay $50 for a Jade Roller but it's the price on my website the Exfoli Kate 60ml quite happy with that one the two Fenty products yes if you're watching this Danielle and Debbie gee name went completely on my head there I am replacing the products that I got rid of I was complaining one day that I was doing a declutter on my lipsticks and I didn't need to keep any of the ones that were the same shade as what I already had so I got rid of a good few lipsticks because including lip glosses and lip balms I had over 100 so I got down to about 70 so I thought that was not bad got rid of 30 products they're slowly coming back um, the Codley Mattifying Moisturiser going to have a try of that one once my last next once one I'm using is finished uh, I'll be in Hourglass I shouldn't put that in there should I this and this should stay here so I can put it when I get into my collection the Refining Enzyme Mask look forward to giving that one a go and then I have the cute little cold cream pen and the lip oil that can stay through here too and that can go into my nail stuff so that did I do there oh my I, my one is Used to, the one I used to have from Body Shop just twisted this one like clicks. I thought I broke it there. Oh, it's not good for me. And then I bought two of these for us going on holiday. So yeah, all in all, it's a fantastic box. Paid, I'd say $60 for it with the £10 postage, which is probably about £52. So definitely got my money's worth. I'm really happy with the products. I know that they did have the Fenty highlighter as a choice instead of the Fenty lip products as well. Um, I didn't go for that. I prefer the lip products because I do have a few highlighters. Um, if I was going to go for probably a mini would be more than enough. So yeah, that's everything in my Fab Bit Fun box. Um, I don't think... Is any prices or that in here? I probably should have checked that fully before I open up everything else. No, they're not. They used to show you the prices of the box and break down what your choices were per section, but maybe next time I'll take screenshots of it and then you can see what the choices were and what I picked. This time there is a good bit um, of makeup items in there compared to previous times, so as you know like the makeup so I went for makeup and the rest is skincare so I'm happy with that do you get a fab fit fun are you thinking about getting fab fit fun um I am an annual member so with that you are allowed to pick your products all six products um before it used to be you could only pick four categories and the last two was up to fab fit fun to choose out of those categories what you would get um, but now it, if you are an annual member you get to pick all six items as long as the items are available and if you are a seasonal member which is you pay for it every three months and the, then the box gets sent out to you you get to choose is it three out of your six can't remember you don't get to pick all six but I love this box I've been getting it now for a couple of years and at the moment I am going to keep continuing it because I've got another two due this year and then we'll see okay my hubby did pay for it for my Christmas as part of my subscription um for this year hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I will catch you all the next time bye bye now